Welcome to Agape Praise. This is a children's program by Agape Children's Ministry. You are with me, Nita Halao, and my colleague, Martin Bendela. First of all, let us have the Lord's Prayer by one of the children. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou be done in earth, as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. And now we are going to give you a song by Agave Children's Choir. Sopano tikubasila ni nyimbo kuchokera kwa ana amenewa Agave Gurulao Loimba. For the Bible story. It is a story taken from the children's Bible. It is entitled God Makes the World. I urge you to listen very carefully so that at the end of the story you should answer questions. So, one on the entire reading of the Bible, Bible, can you mean that you can Bible Lana, Yone Nedwaguti, Mulungu, Alenga, Zikola Pansi, Dimafuna, Mumvesere, we know, can you mean that you, Chifuga, Maberuja, one can you, Muzayan Kamafunso. Now it's time for Bible story with me, Lucia James, and my colleague, Martin Bendela. Our story is coming from Genesis chapter 1, and the title is God Makes the World. Now listen carefully. Long ago, before time began, our world was dark and desolate. Then God began to create order and beauty. First, he commanded the light to break into the darkness. And there was light. 
Next, he ordered the raging oceans to go back. So that dry land appeared. But the land was empty and silent. Except for the lapping of the waves and the sigh of the wind. So God commanded the earth to produce trees and plants. How lovely the first green leaves and bright flowers looked. Then high above in the lofty sky that he had made, God commanded the sun to shine in the day and the moon to give a gentle light by night. He created the stars to twinkle in the velvet darkness. He Still sky and the sea were silent and empty. Komano ntawe yonseyo kumamba ngakale mazi ndipa ntaka kunalibe china jiri jonse. So God made creatures to swim and to play in the ocean. Ndiye mulungu analenga zo kwawa komanso zo sambira mazi. From the tiniest fish to the largest hali. Analenga nsomba za zingono Kufikira nsomba za zikuru. He made the birds Anapanga mbalame To sing sweetly as they flew among the trees. Kuti zizi mba nyimbo zoko ma pamene zikuru ka mitengo. It was a beautiful world and God saw how good it was. Linali ziko lokongo la kwambiri ndipo mulungu anao na kuti linali labu ino. But the land was still empty. So God made the animals. He created small. Fale creatures and huge. Strong beasts as well. The woods and, and the forests. Uzu wakuchire komanso nkalango. The fields and the plains. Komanso minda nga kareso zikururu. Come alive, come alive with the animals that God had made. Zinabwela nkukala malo amene nyamazima kalago monga zimene mungu anazirenga. God told all the fishes and birds and animals to bear young to grow in number so that his whole world could be full and busy and content. Ndemulungu anala mulambala meza kuchire, nyama za kuchire, kuti zonse, ndi nsomba za mazi, zibelegane, kuti zijirugane, kuti ziko lapansiri zaze, komanso likare ndi zintu zokalamo. God looked at all that he had made and said, Ndemulungu anayanga na zonse, zimene anazipanga, nane na kuti. It is very good. Zinali buinonditu. And that's the end of our story. Ndipo pa menepo, ndipo pa matero, pankani yatu. Now it's time for questions. Soba nondi ntawi ya mafunso. Question number one. Fusolo yamba. Where did the story of creation come from? Kodi nkani yajire ngedwe chaziko lapansi, ikuchoke la mbuku la njimbae bulo. Endless. Endless. It is come from Genesis chapter 1. Question number 2. Fusolaji wili. What is the title? Kodi mutu wangani mene hii ndi hoti jani? Yes, Timothy. Timothy. God makes the world. Question number 3. Fusolaji tatu. What did God do first? Kodi mulungu anajita jani goyamba. He commanded light to break into the darkness. Question number four. Fusulaji nai. What did God last did in this story? 
Kodi mulungu komaliza munkhani menei anapanga jani. Yes, po. Po tayanka. He told all the creatures to bear young and growing numbers so that the world could be full and content. Thank you for watching our program. Ziko mwambili chifuwa chone la program yatu. To those who are willing to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, you can follow me in this player. Kwa hiyo amene asanka kulandila Yesu ngadimbuye ndi mpulumusi wao, ndi satile ni pempero ili. Dear God, Okonde do ambuye. I know I'm a sinner. Ndikuziwa ndine ojima. I know my sins deserve to be punished. Ndikuziwa majimu wanga nduwe nilakuti ndilangidwe nao. I believe Jesus died for me and rose from the grave. Ndikukuru pilila kuti Yesu anafa chifuwa jaine na ukisidwa manda. I trust Jesus alone my savior. Ndikukuru pilila Yesu yeka ngadi mpulumusi wanga. Thank you for forgiveness and everlasting life I have now. Ziko mwambili chifuwa jondi kurubirira kumansu mwe wamu ya ya omene ndiri na obano. In Jesus name. Mzina la Yesu Christu. Amen. Amen. And now we are going to give you a song by Agave Children's Choir. Sopano tikubasila ni nyimbo kujokera kwa ana amene wa agabe gurulao loimba. who have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior, thank you very much for making a good decision. Write to us or email us at agapepraisecm at gmail.com. We will send you a gift of a Bible. Kwa yinu, ameni wapanga jisanko, chofuna kulandila Yesu Christu ngadimbuye ndimplumusi wa moewanu, muta kutile mbela pa email address yatu ii agapepraisecm at gmail.com. And now we are going to give you a song by Agave Children's Choir. Sopano tikubasila ni nyimbo kujokera kwa ana amene wa Agave Gurulao Loimba.
We have come to the end of our program. Tafika sopa no kumabero kwa program ya tu. And may God bless you. We are with me Nita Halao and my colleague Martin Mbendera. Tiona. Tiona.